What's up guys? This will be the last vlog before the gallery opening. I'm finishing it up right now. What you're about to see is what I'm working on right now. Uh, this happened a few days back, but there's still a lot to do with the gallery. Kathy and I were just up there today doing a lot of work. Hopefully we will see you guys there. It's going to be a blast. And I'm going to be driving the 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Redline Wide Body Edition. So join us. Wine, beer, festivities all around. But for now, enjoy the vlog. Episode 924. a 19 Chevy Colorado. I'm heading up into town. I'm going to an event this afternoon. It's, uh, it's about 4.30. There's a new grocery store that's opening up in Malibu called Whole Foods and it's an, a whole complex that's opening in the area that's been nothing but dirt for the last, I don't know, 30, 40 years. I've been working for about uh, a year or so on this, actually probably longer, uh, but they invited me up to check out the progress. We're going to vlog a little bit and kind of show you guys what it looks like. There's a lot of different stores that are going in there uh, but and also a Whole Foods. I'm personally very excited about that because Whole Foods has a lot of vegan choices. It's gonna be really cool to have them here. So I'm driving the brand new truck, picking it up in town. Product of a lot of Malibu love, and uh, we're, we're super proud of it. And, and sometimes you have expectations, and I have very high expectations about this, um, and so did the community. But I think we're going to exceed all of those expectations. We are 93% um, leased. We have three stores left. Be to tell you when Whole Foods is going to be opening, and the event that Whole Foods is going to do for the community before they open. Do you want to stay down there? I'll get up on there. Right. I'm not <laughs> on there. My name is Amy Labu. It's easy to remember if you just think Malibu Labu. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just, thank you so much, Steve, Evan, thank you so much. I am so excited to be here. Whole Foods is so excited to be here. We have an amazing team we're hiring. We've put a lot of care and love into trying to make sure that we provide uh, an amazing store for your amazing community. Um, we are very excited to open and share that with you. We're opening soon. We're opening very, this summer. This summer. Very, very soon. We're just so excited to serve the community. Please feel free. I'll be at the store nearly every day. Please feel free to call. Um, write anything you would like to see in the store. Just let us know. Um, we feel very honored and very excited and very happy to come into your amazing community. So. Welcome to the glass of wine, 
on the whole boots. <laughs> Let me see it. Never put it down. <laughs> It's Paul! Hey! Hi, hey, Fireball. stuff going on here with Whole Foods. There's a dry cleaners, there is an ice cream shop, there's Demori's Pizza, there is just a lot of stuff that's going in here. Blue Bottle Coffee, that's probably the one place I'm going to hang out more than anywhere else. So there you have it, a quick tour of the new Whole Foods location. A bunch of stores are going in. It's very, very exciting. Uh, I think everybody who was there is excited at the prospects of what's coming in. It's gonna take probably a full year for it to, to kick in, but uh, Whole Foods is gonna open very soon. Super. because uh, we're going to Caneo Cars and Coffee. Neither of us have been there before, right? Never. Yeah. I've been to uh, Newberry Park a couple times. That's about it. Well, I've never been to heaven, but I've been to Oklahoma. <laughs> what do you think of this uh, Chevy Colorado? Our diesel, and it doesn't seem like a diesel. There's none of that idling locomotive sound that uh, we're used to from old style diesels, so I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, and we're, it looks like we're not the only truck going. I, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any trucks at all around here. Oh, except for that. Cars and Coffee in Newberry Park. There's some very cool rides here today. It's nice to go to a different show. You get to see some different vehicles. Really great stuff. Uh, let me show you guys around.
I mean, it's it's it, it, it's in there, and, it's, and the, the last thing I think we need is to put the, the spare tire cover that matches the interior. <laughs> see that? <laughs> and it's got you see the gauges up on the top there? Yep. According to the article, the, the outside chrome is Jerry with a G. Jerry with a G. Jerry with a G. Uh, we're at Caneo Cars and Coffee in Newberry Park. And yeah, tell me about this car, man. This is cool. Um, I, the guy built it back in the early 70s, mm -hmm. and it sat for a long time, and then the guy got it running, and I bought it a couple years ago, and I've been trying to put it back the way it was in 75. In 75, not all, not all the way back, because the, the paint, the paint's interesting, it's right. got some good stuff, yep. just gonna leave it the way it is. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the paint the way it is, and just Lots do a few runs. more things. It runs good, it's got yeah. 67 Mustang running gear. Okay. 289 C4 transmission. I love it, man. Rear ends for yeah. a fixed seven Mustang. <laughs>